Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge faced by developers working with ASP.NET Core applications. One of our viewers has a question about updating their application running on Windows Server 2008 R2 with IIS. They mention that every time they update their app, they have to manually stop and restart the application pool in IIS to avoid errors. So is there a way to simplify this process? Let's dive in and explore some solutions together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. To simplify the update process for your ASP.NET Core application, we can use a feature called Application Initialization in IIS. This allows your application to automatically restart without manual intervention. Next, we need to configure the application pool settings. Right-click on your application pool and select Advanced Settings. Here, we will enable the Start Mode to Always Running. Now, let's set up the application initialization settings. In the same configuration editor, set the Do App Init After Restart to True. This ensures that your application initializes automatically after a restart. Finally, to ensure that your application is always running, you can add a simple health check endpoint. This will keep the application alive and ready to serve requests. With these settings in place, your ASP.NET Core application will automatically restart and be ready to serve requests without needing to manually stop and start the application pool. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To update a running AS.NET Core application on Windows without downtime, first rename the current DLL to a backup file. Then, upload the new DLL while the application is still serving requests. Finally, recycle the application pool, which can be done via RDP or your hosting control panel. This method allows for seamless updates as IIS overlaps the app pool during recycling. For Linux, a different approach is used. Open RESTI with Nginx and a Lua script can hold incoming requests for a few seconds while the .NET application restarts. After the restart, the held requests are released. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To update a running ASP.NET Core application on Windows, create a file named app-offline.htm in the IS web root. This will temporarily take the app offline. Make sure to check for both appoffline.htm and appoffline.htm due to a known issue. Using this method allows you to update your application via an FTP client. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To update a running AS.NET Core application on Windows, you can simply open and save the web.config file. 
This action will reload the application without needing to make any changes. For a more automated solution, consider using Web Deploy through Visual Studio or the command line. It may take some time to set up, but it streamlines the deployment process. For detailed instructions, check the official Microsoft documentation on deploying ASP.NET Core applications. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To update a running ASP.NET Core application on Windows, you can't hot-swap DLLs directly. Instead, deploy your updates to a new version folder. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you to get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.